We have a, our film Transient is screening, and the film is about a homeless veteran who's back from the war and having a difficult time, and so he encounters this dog, and you know the dog takes him on a journey. We both live in Dallas, and uh, you see at intersections sometimes you'll see homeless people, and you'll see a dog next to them, and there's two very, very strong and different ways you can look at that. One is that's just really selfish, this homeless person. They, it seems like they can't take care of themselves, yet they have this animal's life with them as well. And, and there are many other better places that that animal and that dog could be. But then on the other side, it's this beautiful relationship of these two beings just bonded together. Just such a strong bond, and you can tell that they love each other and are there for each other. Everyone knows, if you're in filmmaking, but it's animal, dogs and kids are what you need to stay away from. And we had some frustrating times. Yeah, you'll see multiple animals and children in the movie. <laughs> and so we just had a lot to deal with and it took us some patience and flexibility. And Yeah, I think the edit was altered definitely by some of the, those issues ended up having to be worked out in the edit a lot. Uh, but we pulled together, I think, a lot of good resources from Brent's hometown of Commerce. Um, Commerce, a lot of, Texas. A lot of the, the people in the community really helped out. A lot of people were very, very excited to help and made a lot of fun. I think the reason that filmmakers make films is they want to be able to create in the crowd this response or emotion or, or see the story they've never seen before or never seen it told in a certain way and just give a new experience or emotion to someone else. Uh, filmmaking taps into, you know, humans' natural inclination for empathy and sharing something that you feel abstractly with others through film, um, I think is very rewarding. Um, even if maybe they don't get exactly what you thought you were putting across on screen, just making a communication, an indirect communication, I think is very, is very satisfying to share that with people. Pre-prod all the way up was over a year and then we did a lot of audio work on the back end after we had our uh, cast and friends screening. Yeah, yeah. It's surprising about shooting outdoors is how much audio doesn't end up working. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we had lots of investors, you know, lots of options for the film. So many, so, so many. So much money. Uh, we played at the Hill Country Film Festival down in Hill Country in Fredericksburg, Texas. Um, ITSA Festival out in Northern California. And then the Redemptive Film Festival in Virginia Beach. Well, aside from just having fun and getting to watch movies for a weekend or several days, it's, it's fun just outside. Mm -hmm. Although the filmmakers were just talking shop it's right. been the last two hours straight, pretty much. Yeah, I think it's great. it's an honor to have the film up, and you know we appreciate that. But I think the benefit to us is meeting other people and hearing their ideas. And you know, there's a very eclectic crowd here at this festival, international opinions and ideas. It's it's really interesting to bounce thoughts off other people, and that's the great thing about being able to come up here.